So we're still talking about the, the dog and the cat that were here earlier. It always makes a smile on um, Monday afternoon to be able to do that. And uh, mm -hmm. the weather, I, I can't say that it's not going to make you smile, but uh, later mm -hmm. it's definitely going to make you cold. Just uh, <laughs> just smile about the fact that there's a lot of warm food on the, the horizon. Sun's out. Yeah, some of that kind of stuff. But uh, the temperature is probably Yes, cold. the weekends yes. with pie and shopping. Mm -hmm. So that should at least make you happy, right? Exactly. <laughs> just think of those things. I'll just try to make the weather forecast quick. But there either we go. way, uh, it was a chilly week and to sort of prepare us for what's to come, I guess, as we had temperatures that were down in the 40s each and every single day this weekend. It never got much warmer than that as we got to 46 yesterday as the clouds rolled their way in and we also started to see some rain showers. Now here's a difference. Yes, the sun is starting to return a little bit. We're catching a little bit of a lull in the cloud cover, and this is going to happen on occasion the rest of the day today and then especially tomorrow We'll really start to see that sunshine breaking out at times, but 44 degrees is that current temperature in Hagerstown and from here on out, it's going to get colder as we roll forward here because northwest winds are really starting to kick in behind this latest cold front. And there's the main part of that cloud cover again. It's well off to the east now. Parts of Frederick Montgomery County is still pretty overcast and we have these occasional batches of clouds like back toward Cumberland, but outside of that no more precipitation and we are seeing just that gradual bit of clearing as that cold front has moved to the east coast and there's just a lot of wraparound cloud cover and moisture on the backside of this massive storm system, but that is pretty much about it. Now the wind speeds, like I mentioned, though, they're starting to pick up 21 miles an hour in Hagerstown, 22 in Martinsburg, and they're out of the northwest, so that's going to start to create more of that chill in the air as time rolls along. There's not a lot of a wind chill factor right now, but you can see some of these lighter blues coming in from parts of Pennsylvania. And that's that wind chill factor that's going to become more noticeable as we head into the later afternoon and evening as yes, those air temps are going to fall from here on out through the 40s down into the 30s and then the 20s by later tonight. And we're going to have the wind sticking with us. So cold wind chills in the 30s during the day, teens at night expected straight on to the end of the day tomorrow before we start to warm up just a bit in time for Thanksgiving. But that's also going to bring about the next round of showers that should move in late on your turkey day. Now the wind gusts again, we could see those approaching 20 to 25 miles an hour the rest of this afternoon into the evening. There will be a brief lull, but it's not going to be completely calm as we head throughout the overnight hours tonight, and that will set us up then to have a return of those slightly stronger wind gusts up to 25 miles an hour through the entire day tomorrow. And again, this is not going to be all that bad. We could have seen stronger winds with this latest storm system, but it's enough to keep things very, very chilly out there as we roll on through Tuesday. And I mentioned it here. Yeah, the wind chill. Watch this. We're going to see those wind chill values drop into the 20s by later on tonight and waking up tomorrow morning with that wind around still. It's going to be feeling like it's in the teens and lower 20s across the four state regions. So be prepared. Bundle up for these chilly conditions tomorrow and look at that wind chill factor still feeling like it's in the upper 20s and lower 30s later tomorrow afternoon before we finally see an end to the wind and that slight warm up as we head toward the end or the middle parts I should say of this holiday week. And there we go mostly sunny skies on your Wednesday and we warm up to the 50s for your Thanksgiving good for those Turkey Bowl games outside, but showers return late in the day, linger around until Friday morning, so you might have to fight some precip on Black Friday for your shopping, but the rest of the weekend looking pretty nice with partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the middle 40s.